All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles, great millstone, and the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going to go on this topic of uh, enduring hardness, you know, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou endure, I mean, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah, you know, like, we, 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 getting close to the end of the society you know and the last thing you want to do <clears throat> is faint you know or or, or, or grow weary or, or, or say that the lord is the land is coming you know there's a lot going on in this world right now you know which is uh wednesday january the 6th according to this calendar you know you have um the stock markets you know, you have a lot of things that's going over, going on over in the uh, so-called Middle East. You know, you have a lot of things going on in America, which is known as Babylon the Great. You know, and you know we gotta endure everything that comes our way. You know, whether we gotta wake up and continue to go to work. You know, for the time being, whether it's your, your family members or you know, whatever type of bull crap that you have to deal with while you're in this truth, you got to endure it, you know. You got to endure that hardness, you know. Because, I mean, the, the, the time is, is near, you know. But with the things going on and, 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 and things even taking that long, you know what I'm saying, even if you might think that things are taking that long, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing. Because when we get into the kingdom, you're going to be less likely to want to go off again, you know? If the Lord took his time and kept on taking his time and turning, you know, you would, you would, you would, uh, you, you should want to keep on holding on for that kingdom, you know? And when the kingdom come, you want to, you want to keep, keep it in your grasp, grasp, you know? You don't want to go off no more, you know, because you know how how bull crap it is right now that we all this bull crap that we got to deal with right now, you know, in the kingdom, we won't have to worry about that, you know, we'll be less likely to go off. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, you know. It, it, the scripture says, though it tarry, you know. It, you, you, you feel like, man, this stuff is going on and, and it's taking a long time. Why this ain't happening now? Why we ain't getting the kingdom? Which rightfully so, we, we, we will get the kingdom, you know. But at the same time, we got to endure this hardness, you know. We, we getting tried in the fire right now, you know. The curses are real, you know. We gotta we gotta endure these curses. The 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 same way how when a when a slave used to get get them whippings, he didn't want to you know he, he had to endure them until the until his master uh, stopped whipping them, you know. And 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 right now y'all about some y'all size whipping us, you know. In this society, we we the we the supposedly if we're the elect, we we the we're the first fruits of the kingdom, you know. And 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 through much endurance and and patience, you know, and and, and tribulation, man, we we we're gonna achieve the kingdom if we if we wait on the Lord, you know. Acts one and seven, and he said unto them, "It is not for you." To know the times or the seasons which the Lord have put in his power. You know? The, 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 it, it would be hell if we, we stay here another year. You know? Or two years. or I, I can't see that, you know? But however long it is, we got to endure that, you know? And then when you, when you sit up here and you really think about it, the apostles endured this for, you know, a long time. You know, faithfully being diligent, you know, and, and, and 
Yahweh Shah, he he endured a lot of stuff. You know, the, the the scripture says that the servant isn't greater than the master. You know, so we gotta endure all of this stuff. You know, for that for the kingdom's sake, for the Father's sake, man, to show that we have that faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know. You, you, if you ain't going through nothing, if you ain't got no not, nothing on your plate, how can you sit up there and say that the Lord is dealing with you? You know? Uh, Genesis 15 and 1. And this is just an example, you know, of, of, of faith. Uh, or, or, or enduring hardness. It's, uh, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision saying, Fear not, Abram. I am thy shield and your great exceeding reward. You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is our reward, you know. Even right now, us being in this truth, this is this is a reward, man, to, to be called out of our past lives, you know. This is a reward, man. It's, we should be thankful, you know, to even to even have a chance to, to receive this kingdom. You know, this this marvelous kingdom that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has set for us, you know. So in doing this, you also gotta be humble, you know, because we're not we're not worthy of reaching this kingdom, you know. That's that's through grace. It says, and Abram said, Lord God, what will what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Alazar of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo. One born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of your own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and towards the star, I mean, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto them, I mean, he said unto him, So shall your, your seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted to him for righteousness. You know, when 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 Abraham when when Ab before he was called Abraham, you know, when when Abraham didn't have a child, you know, he endured endured all that, you know, and and Yahweh Shem Yahshua, you know, he counted that for righteousness that he he did endure, you know, and those of us that know the story, when when the Lord blessed um abraham with a child when he was um when he had isaac abraham was a uh old you know that's what um isaac mean in the um in the hebrew laughter you know because because they were saying like am i gonna have a child am i and i'm old you know so even though we gotta endure all this man abraham did this you know he endured so what we going through right now, this is this is nothing new compared, you know, to, to what the Lord does, you know? Us going through this kingdom, I mean, if you go through the scriptures and you read and you see, you know, there's many different examples of the Lord, you know, doing what he uh uh Salakia, the Lord <clears throat> uh turning in his promise. Or or although it seemed, you know. But but the Lord counts it for righteousness, you know, if you believe in him. And that's that's the main thing. We gotta continue to show that we believe in him. Believe in Yahweh Shim Yahweh Even unto death, man. Um Hebrews twelve and two. It says, Looking unto Yahweh, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the same and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the most high for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself lest ye be worried or worried and faint in your minds that's why you gotta constantly pray 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 man as you see this stuff going on man pray for that 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 faith for that you know that strength that the lord uh Continues to, to hold you through throughout these times, you know. Going into the word worried, you know, to grow worried, to be sick, you know. 
you you always work you know you you wondering if the lord really going to come what's the lord going to do you know to to faint it says to loose to unloose to set free to dissolve to weaken you don't want to grow weak in this thing man you know you don't want to relax you know taking time off you know you don't want to grow go exhausted you know to have one strength relaxed to be enfeebled through exhaustion to grow weak grow weary be tired out to despond become faint-hearted you know you don't want to grow uh faint and it's this this word you know in your mind and, and, and fall out you know and then catch a missile or whatever you know the the like i said this this the times that we're going through this is this is also a time of of trying you you know no matter what you're going through proverbs 24 and 10 if thou faint in a day of adversity thy strength is small you know, you 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 supposed to pray for that strength, man. You know, that you don't faint when that time comes. It's this is Second Corinthians four and one. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, if we have as we have received mercy, we faint not. You know, the Lord, like I said, we he he showed us mercy. You know, calling us out of the wickedness. You know that we was doing in our past lot or. In, before we came into this truth, you know, so so with him calling us out, out I mean, calling us into this truth, you know, the last thing you want to do is faint, man. You know, or 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 to 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 walk in the ways of this world, you know, to to have the gospel hidden from you, you know, from you know you being the reason why the gospel is hidden from you in your mind, you know. In your spirit, because it, you just it's, it's not resonating with you. You know, you you grew weary. This is uh, Psalms twenty-seven and fourteen. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You know, times is really about to get hard, man. Like what what we see and what we got going on right now. You know. Like, it's, it's really nothing compared to what's about to happen, you know? When that eye of temptation come, you know? There's going to be a lot of stuff that, that, that goes on, you know? You got to continue to pray that the Lord, you know, holds you, you know? And keeps you strong until the, until the very end, you know? The scripture says, he who endures until the end, the same shall be saved, you know? And that's very true even unto this day. We got to endure all this hardness, you know, even though it might seem hard, you know, we got to endure it, you know, because we know that Esau is the devil, you know, we know that these prophecies are coming to pass, you know, we know a lot of things are, are happening in it, in this world that, you know, it, it just seemed like, like the next, the next thing could just potentially be the biggest thing, you know, that happens. You know, but at the same time, like if the next thing isn't the big thing, we supposed to still have that 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 faith. You know, until the very end. So with that one, give all praises, honor, and glory to y'all by some y'all side. Double honors to the apostles, of great millstone, and the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here doing the pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Death to America.